close leg deep. Next, exercise five. Siapa yang mau baca? Anyone wants to, wants to read this? Ayo, siapa yang mau latihan? Oke, okay, silakan. Oh iya iya, iya iya, silakan ini siapa? Soalnya nggak ada wajahnya, jadi saya nggak tahu ini siapa. <laughs> ya, iya. Jadi saya tidak bisa mendeskripsikan kalau saya ada yang ngomong ini suaranya siapa, ini suaranya siapa. <laughs> nanti kan ketemu mbak kalau ketemu ternyata nggak cantik <laughs> silakan uh 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 sudah Okay, very good. So, what do you think the main idea? Okay, good. Yeah. So, we can conclude that the main idea is how the braking system Yes, it explained from detail to detail how the brake works when we use it. Good. Next. Yeah. Okay, so when we read when we read for the main idea there are some there are several tips that you can do first. Pick up an important keywords, then repeated keywords. So pick up some important keywords again. First, like this, like previously in the exercise five. What is the important keyword? Break. See, you can find several main points repeated. Then, linking words and names or numbers. So. There are several tips that you can apply when you read for the main ideas. And next, do you still remember our project, how to start a reading log? And also, I uploaded the assignment for the semester and I also mentioned several steps what should you do to submit the paper. So. You can choose any articles or any book from the first assignment. So I, I give you two assignments. The first one, you need to decide by yourself the book that you want to read. But I recommend you to choose a, child, a children's book. Then the second one, I provided several links. I sudah menyediakan beberapa link tentang short article about how to improve your literacy bagaimana meningkatkan kemampuan membaca so you can choose one of them 
silakan pilih satu dari antara itu beberapa artikel if I'm not mistaken there are four or five articles that I uploaded kemudian choose which one do you like ya, saya sudah memilih beberapa artikel jadi there are two there are two assignment the first one you need to read any children book and the second one you need to choose one of five articles that I propose jadi ada lima artikel silahkan pilih salah satu kemudian dibuat kesimpulan dan I also give you a guidelines apa yang harus ditulis misalnya summary summary nya gak perlu panjang-panjang jadi summary itu yang ditulis main idea nya saja just write the main idea and a brief explanation about it jadi main idea dan brief explanation and what do you get apa yang anda pelajari dari situ so now start for the sharing time for share waktu untuk share membagikan please let us know your experience when you start reading is it easy is it fun is it difficult is it boring and how do you overcome your problem if you find some challenge bagaimana anda mengatasi masalahnya jika anda waktu membaca what is the first challenge what is the biggest challenge when you read okay ada yang mau share dulu silakan oh kepitanya masih banyak ini bagian untuk sharing dulu it's time for sharing your experience when you read when you start reading like this this week we start a reading walk so how is it going is it fun no not really <laughs> no don't ask why mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, violence diet. Mm. Okay. What are these?
Das ist alles selber. Okay, can't wait to see you. Then, next one. Thank you. It's a good experience. Good starting. Who wants to pin the next one? Who wants to pin the next one? Two members on the demo share. Yeah, it's just your experience. Belum summary-nya. Lebar-lebar. Gak apa-apa latihan dikit-dikit gak apa-apa dicampur-campur bahasanya You can combine English and Indonesia Oh bukan Saya tinggal di Saya tinggal di dorm Terus sekarang dorm saya itu ada di sekolah Jadi setiap ada jam pergantian pelajaran Rilnya bunyi suaranya kayak kereta Kayak apel kereta Bukan mbak, saya tinggal di kampus Oke Time is yours I think everyone when we read, we also feel sleepy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's normal. It's normal. We are human when we read, when we read, when we get bored, when we when we don't when we don't interest on what we read, we will feel sleepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, when we find a lot of unfamiliar words, we can feel bored. Then when we, when we feel bored, we get sleepy. That's normal. So, I suggest you to, to read any children's book. I suggest you to read that. So, because when you read children's book, those vocabularies are very simple. It's easy for you to understand and it's fun. So, start from what you like first. Jadi, Sebenarnya kalau reading book, baca buku pelajaran itu memang susah. Jadi cari aja artikel yang merubah, menyenangkan. Hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Oke. Okay. 
Okay. Next one is a good experience. Anyone else? Yeah. Oh, we have an answer. <laughs> okay, let's start. We will listen. Just try. Okay. That's a good start when you read a children's book. That's a good start. Just keep it up. Another one wants to share experience. Thank you. No more. So the rest are still working. Okay. So just from these stories, we know that reading is not easy, right? <laughs> I know. Reading takes time. Reading takes your energy, but when you read something you like, you can get deeper on it. Memang membaca itu melahkan, tapi ketika kita when we find an interesting topic, it will take hours for us to stop. I still remember when I was kid, I don't know, I cannot find it now because when I was kid, I like to read magazine I like children magazine like Pupu, Majalah Pupu Do you still remember Majalah Pupu? I don't know when I was kid, like I can read five magazines in one day because my father always took me to go to the second bookstore I always bought the second one because the new one is quite pricey like for one new one equals with 10 second hand book jadi kalau satu buku baru 10 buku bekas so I, I'd prefer to buy in the second one so because for me I like read I like read stories especially when I was kid like a lot of good stories when I was kid so I can take a lot of time to read especially when I was in holiday I will spend a lot of like my pocket money to buy second second hand book. But now 
when I go to college, I have to read books too, but the books that I have to read is not interesting as the book, the magazine when I read when I was young. So sometimes I feel bored, not sometimes, always. Always I, I always felt bored, I always felt sleepy. Sometimes I felt confused because a lot of like unfamiliar words. So when when you found unfamiliar word, just go to your dictionary and find the meaning and give it up. Just go. Just go and read. But you don't worry. It's not only you who face this challenge. Jadi nggak cuma anda yang mengalami kesal, tapi everyone who start reading have this challenge. Now, we go to Okay, sekarang let's back to the topic The main idea You need to remember that every paragraph has a topic And every paragraph has a main topic And when an author includes a sentence in a paragraph that tells his or her most important point about the topic, that sentence is called the stated main idea sentence. As I know, one of the students is a writer, so you must do this to write. You have general idea, and then what you wanted, what you wanted to tell to your friends, then you will develop the main idea into details. Kemudian Anda akan bahkan nggak cuma nulis penulis sih. When we share, when we talk, ketika kita ketika kita ngobrol dengan teman pun kita juga gitu kan. We have and when we have main idea, then we develop those main idea in the sentences. Next, I have one paragraph. Who wants to try? So, the task is giving the appropriate title. Memberikan judul yang tepat atau main idea. Who wants to try? Oh, ini sudah tadi. Wait, this is the same article. Are you saying? Okay, this one. Wants to try? <coughs> okay, wants to try? Mm-hmm. Excruciating pain. Mm-hmm. 
Creature. Mm -hmm. mm. So, remember, when you want to highlight a main idea, see some repeated word. Mm -hmm. What? Platypus, right? So, what is the best title for this passage? Because this passage discuss the platypus, how the platypus life, how they breed, how they produce their kid. No, not kid. How they produce. Bagaimana mereka bereproduksi. Next. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mereka bertelur. Next. Pada kesempatan selanjutnya, anyone wants to try? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Montana. Salt Dester. Thousand, a thousand. Okay, so based on this passage, what is the best title? Can I tell you the name of the Yes, that's good. Yellowstone National Park. So the best, the best title for this paragraph is Yellowstone National Park. That's good. 